welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Uh, today we're going to be looking at um, just sort of recreating this sort of flowing kind of plasma nuclear waste look we've gone for here. And you can use this to make water, lava, um, any of those sort of things. Um, so let's just get straight down to it. It's a very simple uh, tutorial to do. Um, I got this effect I, just by making a new material. Um, we'll call this uh, radioactive waste uh, underscore tutorial or toot. Actually, it's good enough for me. Um, open this up, and you will be met with this wonderful blank material. Um, now, we don't need to change anything about the actual material itself. Uh, but what we will need to do is hold down three and get two, uh, three constants. And the first one can be whatever color you want it to be. So let's try and make like a watery effect uh, today. So we'll go for like a light blue maybe. And on the bottom one, maybe go for sort of like a darker blue. Uh, so it's like a little bit contrasted. There we go. And we're going to add this into a lurk. So hold down L and click. And press A, press B, and then we just need a Fresnel. So type in uh, RF, uh, FRE and you should have it come up. There we go. Uh, we don't need to change any of the defaults, so just plug that into the alpha. And this can automatically go into the base color and the emissive color, and that's pretty much it done. Uh, the other thing I like to do is hold down uh, S and click to get a scalar parameter. Um, we'll call this um, metallic. And I normally set this to around about... Um, I, I just lessen it a bit. So I normally take it to sort of like 0 0.8, 0 0.85, something like that. It's good enough, really. Um, and that should cover the metallic side of things. Like so. You can see it's quite light at the moment. Now... If you wanted water, you probably don't want the emissive, so just take that out uh, and you'll get your normal color and you'll see the difference in a minute. But uh, because we're making it like the radioactive waste, you need it to have the emissive properties um, as well. So you could almost class this as like plasma. Uh, so we need a texture coord oh, uh, text coordinate, text coordinate, there we go. Uh, and then what we need is we need two panners. So if we hold down P and click, we can get a panner and put both of those into the coordinates like so now we need to change the defaults of these so the first one's going to be uh, 0 0.2 on x speed and uh, 0 0.1 on the y and for the second one we need to do, to do something a little bit different so we're going to go for like a 0. Point, um, minus 0 0.15 and we'll go for a minus 0. 0.5 Five. Uh, and again, you can play with these results to until you um, get the results you're looking for. Uh, but this is just changing the direction of the normal maps we're about to put in. So if we press T and click uh, twice to get two texture sample nodes, I'm going to plug these into the UVs. Um, I do like to keep mine a little bit neater than this. So let's just, there we go. Looks a bit better. And I'm just going to grab the water uh, normals uh, you can grab different ones if you want to to have like some different effects um, so maybe if we try this one and this one uh, we should get some some interesting results anyway hold down a and click to get an add and we're just going to add the RGBs into both of the a and the B and then we can plug those into the normals and hopefully we should get ourselves a little bit of an effect okay cool now all we need to do is apply that uh, and then add it to a um, add it to something let's add it to this plane um, I don't know why that looks like a, an audio icon okay um, <laughs> let's just add this one in and should hopefully Okay, so after reloading, you can see we've actually looks like we've got some uh, running 
water, which looks so super cool, super effective. Um, just by adding in those planar panna uh, defaults, you've got this awesome sort of running water or running uh, radioactive material or lava um, already in your scene. And it took what all of ten minutes, five ten minutes to put in together. Obviously, I'm going to switch this back to my one, but um, that looks pretty effective in my opinion, just for a quick level. And you can see that I've done one here with the lava. You've got this lovely kind of running lava effect. And with the emissive color, which is lighting the scene, it looks like even better in my opinion. Uh, and as I said, if you were doing this as water, you could always just take off that emissive color so you don't get the glow and it would look uh, like just plain running water. So yeah, hopefully you found this useful um, in setting up some interesting stuff in your scene. And uh, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to like the video. And of course, if you want to check this video game, it's free on itch.io. I will put the link in the description. It's part of a game jam that we are currently doing um, uh, for our channels uh, with Burrow Games. So check him out and check those games out. And don't forget to do the Survey Monkey. So thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.